everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. This is an update, as you all know by now. Aqua, because everybody who is talking about VTuber news is talking about Aqua. Aqua is has decided mutually with management that it is no longer feasible for her to stay in Hololife for whatever personal reason she has. It may not necessarily be anything negative that's going on with Hololife, but Hololife is moving in a totally different direction than maybe she had planned originally. And you know, things change. Things do change. Like I said, it's not necessarily something bad from Hololive. Originally, I had my doubts. We don't know fully, but this is what she said. This is what made me think, you know, this is what made me think uh, that things were kind of off a little bit, if you would call that this. If anything should ever happen to me, I want you to think that there are great, great forces at work that I am not convinced of or I'm, I'm not good with is what pretty much he's saying here. I will live tomorrow. So she may not have been convinced with the direction of uh, things going. She may want a different direction for her career. And that is something normal. That is something that happens a lot in, in communities. Continue to fight for justice. So she does. That's one thing she does. And like I said, I originally thought something was really wrong in Hollow Life. Now that I get more information, especially right here, where Shishiro Botan and Suisei explain the full situation, I am more convinced that it's just a differing direction from what they both wanted creatively. And uh, that happens. And Aqua is a very introverted, very um, like not wanting to do in in crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. She is, she's Akutan. She's Akutan. Anyone who knows about her knows that she's very introverted. She's very shy. She's very, it, she's very reserved. It's taken years in some cases for her to talk to some of her genmates and other people. It, it takes a while. あの、あ、<笑> ただ<笑><笑> And one thing that I didn't realize that I um, had a misunderstanding of is she told them months ago in many cases. She told them like a month or so ago. They all knew. A lot of them knew, especially in JP, they knew what was going on because she wanted to talk to them and she wanted to let them know herself. Uh, Pekora mentioned that she sped up Hollow Arc because the Hollow Arc thing, the Hollow Arc uh, server that they had recently with Pekora, it was going to be after summer it was going to be like a september october etc but she sped it up because she wanted aqua to be a part of it that tells you that she knew beforehand and they they know the reasons fubuki probably knows the reasons and such like that remember fubuki is like a canary in the coal mine if she doesn't say anything crazy about hollow life and she stays then there means that something's still okay with hollow life maybe creative differences marine also spoke about it you can watch it in my other video that i have on the subject marine spoke about it and let us know exactly how she felt it was sad but she's always going to be akutan's mom because that's the whole little thing that they have going on there um but yeah watch them if you have the time and now we're going to watch um, and heard from management that she will officially quit to this day, basically the 28th. Having heard this sooner than most others, 
結構お時間をいただけたので私の中では気持ちの整理が割とついてるというか、まあ、お送りを出そうっていう気持ち、まあ、本当に難しい話なのかもしれないんだけど、まあ、誰かも整理してほしくないというか、まあ、誰が悪いみたいな感じであっぱり散らかしたくなる気持ちもすごい分かるんだけど辛いなって寂しいなって寂しいなって,いなってマークターもその。And of course, Aqua said herself that she and the company had different future pathways. Though I do not have much to say about that in detail. But I listened to Aqua discuss her problems and talk with her about ways to solve it. And we met a lot. But I ultimately felt that saying just don't quit was just irresponsible. Because when I reflected on Aqua's problems and other stuff would be resolved by saying they would not. And after continuously talking with Aqua, I was satisfied with the results of graduation. And I should say, I do not feel it is a completely negative thing. It's fine to be sad. But I do not think that graduation is retrogressive or negative. I think it is a point on the next steps. And I am reading this because I do know that there are some people who watch me on the side. They don't actually take a look at everything, so they're not going to understand what the heck is going on. That's why I'm reading the subtitles. Of course, the amount of times we can do stuff together decreases. But between all of us, nothing has happened. We haven't fought for anything. I want to keep going out for meals, playing together, and so on. I don't think our human relationships will change. I'm sad that I cannot see Alpha anymore, but I'm happy that you are all getting along behind the scenes. And that was a member that said that. Thank you. I will meet Aqua and call her Aqua. I hate saying it is what it is, but it really is what it is. As she said, it's a difference in direction. It can't be helped. Compared to when Aqua had joined, our company has become an incredibly huge organization. And that's a good thing. Because of how big our company is, every year we conduct Holofest at Makuhari Mess. And because of how big the company is, I've been able to appear on TV and such, and have received assistance in our PR. And there's so much that we can do because our company is now so big. But of course, due to our scale, more and more rules have been developed, so more restrictions. And things outside said rules are extremely hard to do. So if you want to do something new, they have to investigate. What's the risk in this? How do we accomplish this efficiently? And such results take time. Such results take time. Plus, since it's new, new rules need to be made too. And things take time. Comparing to our time when we were still small, we will not topple easily. But we have also become serious. Lots of things like that. In the past, if I went, I want to try doing this. I ran just randomly on the wind. It goes, sounds good, let's try it next time. And that kind of stuff, Yago. Though if I were to do so now, they would say, these go against the rules, we can't. Or we have to think about this first. Such things have greatly increased, but of course, such things are so we do not completely crash and burn or risk management. So while I do understand, well, I go so slow and stuff. I think it's such a difficult thing. It's such a difficult thing. I think about it daily. If the company doesn't get better, the talents cannot get themselves together. If the company cannot get themselves together, I will say, the talents are absolute. It's something I feel isn't healthy either. The company has to pull the reins to some extent. Though what is the best, how we should go from now on and about doing stuff. We are still searching for that. However, I'm always thinking about what I want to do, how I want to be. And I'm always sharing opinions of how I want us to become. And I feel this is a company we can get close to. And if it wasn't, I get pissed off and cause a fit. So I want you all not to be worried about that. I'm already taking a pathway that I think is the best for us. Making changes and moving on is how I feel. With that, basically, listen to the original if possible. So we say made more comments, but was told this might be towing the line. So she asked people not to clip or talk about that. So there's more stuff going on that was maybe towing the line a little too much. You know, maybe grievances, etc. And it is true. They are a large organization. Things change. Things get more restrictive. That's one of the reasons Kirio Koko left. Because she wanted to be free. She wanted to have the freedom to do whatever she wanted to do. 
And Hollow Life at that point was already growing and was like, no, we can't do this. This is too serious. This is too extreme. This won't go well with our fans, especially the JP fans. It won't go well. We can't do this. We can't do this. Maybe Aqua had new opportunities that she was seeing, had new things that she had you know, ideas of wanting to do, whether it be something related to new songs or new games, uh, sponsorships with certain sponsors that maybe wouldn't work out. And things may have been getting too restrictive for her. And she would have had to fight more and more and more to get it. And that's not just not the type of person that Aqua is. Aqua is, yes, she'll fight for what she wants and she, she, she'll ask for what she wants, but she does it very timidly. Not, I'm not saying this is bad at all. This is just her. I'm the same way. Timid, uh, you don't want to rock the boat, especially in an organization. You want everyone else to be happy because you feel if you do things to rock the boat, you'll make your best friends, your friends, people you care about, people you respect unhappy because you decided to rock the boat. And this is, I think, now that I know everything, I think this is the reason that's happening. Too many restrictions for her. They're going down a path that she doesn't want to go to go down or she doesn't feel is good for her, especially, you know, her being herself. It may get her way too far out of her comfort zone. It may not be something horrible that happened inside of uh, Hollow Live or anything like that, like I had thought before. So this is the update and correction on some things that I had said in my last video. Uh, I think... Fubuki would have honestly come out and others, Suisei and Botan and others would have come out against Hollow Life or at least criticizing Hollow Life if they would have known that something happened, something bad happened. But it looks like she told every single person that she could and they're all satisfied with the reasons why she's leaving. And it was a talk between management, between both of them, which is amazing compared to, you know, a black company that I will not mention. It's amazing that they can do that. It's amazing that they can decide to move on and do it in a way that will not hurt either side. And you had Yago, you know, saying goodbye. A lot of people saying goodbye. Nodoka, everybody that knew Aqua, Aqua was saying goodbye. It's just a, it couldn't have gone any better, I think, uh, if it comes to graduations. It went really well, I think. Scarla is having a very busy schedule, as you can see here. She is uh, going to her Twitter specifically. Schedule 8.05 to 8.11. Tadaima, I'm back for my mini break. Y'all made my schedule for this week, so here's what you picked. Okay, so she actually had to make it. Uh, Tadaima, back from break. Metal Gear Rising, cleaning my room. Try Mexican candy for the first time. Uh, Tojo Friday. Uh, Jojo Friday. Jojo Friday. N the end clamps. What the hell? Manasan, please. On Saturday, she's having that kind of clamping stream. Holy crap. I didn't. Well, it is Scarla. It is Scarla. So this is positive news. Just giving you guys a little bit of that. He's one of the people that has least issues in Nidisanji. The only issue she's had is from weird people, you know, saying weird things and, uh, you know, slacktivists and things like that. Saturday, she never escaping the Scarla Yonaguni allegations. She's... Uh, genuinely the reason why I don't want Niji Yen to be folded. Please need you get your S together for her sake or have her graduate or you move on. You know, but I, I'd rather I'd rather her be happy in the company that she's at and the company be treating her well. I'd rather that than her graduate, to be honest with you. Really bad time to do content like that. The guy flagging any and everything that can be considered as content. Meta Gear Rising, Revengeance, the memes. She's a freaking dork and I love it. Actually doing what she promised to kill. Oh God. Thursday and Sunday gonna be fun. Oh, S, she's playing Revengeance. I'm actually more interested in the JoJo stream because I remember Bay and Bibu from Hollow Life EN doing a watch along, but they never continuing. Uh, people assume that the management told them not to, to continue because it may not be allowed even for watch along like other series. So yeah, she's doing her own thing. She's doing a really good job. The uh, the, the Saturday Saturday is is, uh, is is an interesting one. Is the one that I focused on. I, I'm sorry about that. Um, and then we have Sunday custom Goomba workshop and Halo Halo hand cam so the hand cams and the uh the gunplas are something that she has been very very focused on so yes good news for scarlet in this case here is a bit of a reminder that um nidhi sanji's uh pretty much ceo of riku does have a horse they spend over 300k on a freaking horse uh it's group rt racing world ace uh the, the sires world ace the siblings are Bashrika, sold for 52.80 million, which is about, you know, 300k or maybe a little bit more. Yeah, it's, it's about 300k, 300, 400k around there. Uh, RT Racing, trainer Yuki Uehara, breeder Northern Farm, earnings nothing yet. And, um, you know, that is an insane thing for a, a CEO to have public. Uh, of course, a lot of rich people buy rich people things. Like buying a racehorse is a rich people thing to do, but it does not look good for the optics of the whole situation. Imagine if the horse isn't winning any races. He's just going to graduate as per usual. He will literally be canned, uh, literally canned the horse, turning into a horse meat. Oh, God, no. Please don't. Common thing with rich people, of course, racehorses are a big investment, but have potential for good returns alongside the vanity of it. It's probably another thing he's pouring money into instead of his employees' health and well-being. Either that or Rico's going full Sopranos with Vox Burns and the stables down for the insurance money. Oh, God. 
Uh, images from Foss's latest video, which I translated. Fun fact, it's about 360k. Doris is about to get more support than Ian. Guess he'll be treated better than the average livers. We don't know, but yes, he has a horse. There seems to have been a little bit of a message from Rosami briefly during the Nidhi, uh, during her recent Grand Theft Auto V Nidhi Sanji stream. Uh, this person says here that she briefly mentioned the Nidhi staff issue. Not, not sure if it's been mentioned anywhere since it's a fairly minor and vague remark, but I figured it may be interested as I couldn't see it mentioned anywhere. The link should be timestamped. Maybe if using a phone, you know, basically they put a link to timestamp it. Get its minor a bit, thought it was working. Disclaimer, I'm not a member of the sub as such I have value ex its existence, nor do I have a strong emotions or attachment to any of the current former livers. That said, I did recently check out Rosemi a few weeks ago uh, and this and subscribed partly because mostly seems to be doing her own thing so rosemi seems to be one of the good ones this is what they said when i went to japan right and i stayed a bit extra like from what extra time basically i had to like well i wanted to record something i wanted to record something that was promised for a while but then there was this bit of like sigh uh that's where like a troubles with staff so i was a bit upset about also that i'm always i think it's just been it's like he's trying to say something without hurting the organization uh it's been really unlucky streak lately i've had to do a lot of uh lots of unlucky stuff happening but i'm happy to finally play gta again and here's here's the the part that they're saying and i went to japan right and i stayed a bit extra like from for some extra time basically i had to like well i wanted to record something i wanted to record something that was like promised for like a while but then there's a bit of like <sighs> There's a bit of troubles with with, 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 with with staff. So I was a bit upset also with that. Um anyways, I feel like it's just been I've it's been a really unlucky streak lately. I've had a lot of lots of unlucky stuff has been happening. But I'm happy to finally be able to play GTA again. So let's do that. Uh Ash There we go. So that is her own words. And the uh, transcription here is pretty much exactly that. It seems, like I said, that there were issues. She wants to remain vague. She wants to remain uh, protective of the agency because that's the kind of person that she is. She doesn't want to cause waves. She doesn't want to cause anything crazy going on. That just seems to be the kind of personality that Rosemi has. And this was kind of like like what people are saying. Talks like a North Korean in a foreign country asked about life and politics in North Korea by journalists. This sounding familiar. It could be just a simple case of things not working out time-wise, but it's happened often enough to see a trend where things get canceled. Hopefully it gets worked out in favor eventually. Yeah, because you have Pomu, the ending's canceled. You had uh, Selen when they were on. A lot of things got canceled. A lot of things got moved around. Damn, I miss being a Buta. I miss Rosemi theme song. Please do not be once in a lifetime opportunity moment. I don't know. It didn't come off as severe as tone as that. It just came off as frustration. Hopefully it's not a once in a lifetime moment. But yeah, you can see some frustration going on there. And her doing it in the most diplomatic and most uh, responsible way that she possibly can without just, you know, uh, S posting and naming somebody and doing all these horrible things, you know, to make people feel bad. She's trying to keep things positive and vague. Yet another defective product happening with uh, Niti Sanji. Um, Why well, I'm not surprised at this point. Here's the thing: a lot of things, a lot of these, of course, depend on the vendors. They go for the cheapest vendor, lowest common denominator in vendors, the lowest price for vendors. So that is something that, of course, is going to reflect on what is going on when it comes to uh, the actual products. If you spend pennies less, like if if you get half the price of a product, there's probably going to be less QA in the creation of it. Regarding Niti Sanji, Ian Hero's first anniversary, rubber strap, Ditka Murakamo Kagetsu. Uh, due to a manufacturing defect identified within this product, we will be shipping replacement items for the affected products. We sincerely apologize. At least, at least they're not having you return it and then they send one. They're just sending you a replacement right away. Uh, apologies for the inconvenience cause. Please visit the link. I think there have been a lot of defective products and VTuber goods lately, not just Niji. Not to mention people just scamming indies and their audiences like what happened with Bao and the others. They're sending a replacement without any additional actions from the buyers. What's wrong with that? In contrast, you had to apply to exchange for your defective plushie within a specific period for the hollow light plushies. Of course, some are a little bit more restrictive. Like I said, this is not, this is bad that they're having the defective things, but holy crap, they actually listened and they did something proper when it came to getting uh, them replaced. They actually are getting them replaced at no cost or even having to do anything if you already have one. They are probably looking at whoever bought one and each and every one of them are just going to be getting replacements. This is a rare Nichi W on the shipping part 
It's an EG L, of course, on the fact that they have defects. But you aren't the if you aren't the manufacturer, you can't control the defects that happen. And uh, this is a rare Niji Sanji organizational W for the way that they're just shipping it out to everyone who bought one. No matter what, they're just no questions asked, no shipping, no nothing like that. No shipping costs or anything to the people. Just you don't even have to sign up for anything. You paid for it. You got it. You're going to get a replacement. Here's a strange situation where we have Hex Haywire uh, talking to another liver. In this case, Michi Mochi V, who's not even a part of them anymore, but used to be a part of them. He says, either bro forgot to swap accounts or rules and restrictions of the company have loosened, or they don't, just don't care anymore. It, since EN is not getting any kind of uh, support, they're probably like managers, you've either abandoned them or there aren't any managers left or something like that's happening where they can honestly just feel like, hey, I can do whatever I want. I can go and do this because they're not going to have anything to say anyways says, no, you'd be a nerd. Responding to if I was one of the seven deadly sins, I'd be sloth. Everything seems to have loosened regarding EGEN from what I see. Like what's going on? First, Anna appeared in Quinn's live stream chat and then this. Yeah, it seems like the managers and the, the whole staff are just like, you guys do, what you, do whatever you want. As long as you follow our general rules and you follow our general contracts, you do what you want. That's the way it feels like, at least. Um, maybe it's because Niji is now focusing on the JP side. Uh, restrictions, loosening sounds good to be, too good to be true. More likely, whomever was in charge of enforcing it is either gone or no one cares. Uh, uh, third option, Hex definitely no longer cares about punishments. My money's on number two. My money's on number two as well. Management has given up. Management has disappeared. Management has just been like, you guys do whatever the hell you want. We don't care anymore. As long as you bring us money and you're doing the regular stuff that you usually do, just go ahead and do whatever the hell you want. Michi reveals some of the backstory of what, why things happened with her lore. She says here. You know why my name is Michi Mochivi? You might be like, oh, is it because she likes Mochi? Huh? Get it? Because Mochivi. No. Uh, I have a pet tarantula, and my pet tarantula's name is Michi. Oh, that's and cute. I needed a name where if someone calls me it, I will actually be like, yes. Like I need to be able to respond, right? Like, uh, just for her, she wanted to be able like, to respond. Nice. I don't know. A very complicated name. If someone calls me that, I probably will forget that's my name. So. One of the only names I remember are the names of my pets. Ah, and okay. <laughs> so that was her. That was her, but Michi. Now I say Michi Jr., but I stole Michi's name. And then that was the first name. And then the last name was because I thought it would be so funny if it's like, how mischievous. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. So I wanted Chivi. Chivi? Okay. As in like Eevee from Pokemon, but also Chivi from like, like if my last name was Chivi and you're like Mrs. Chivi, Right? It sounds like Miss Chivi. <laughs> so nice. that was the name. And then Mochi is genuinely because I'm too lazy to change the names of like my other accounts. So I have like accounts on Steam, accounts on some games, and the name is Mochi and I'm too lazy to change it. So I ah, so deep, Mochi. deep lore. So then if one day I'm like, hey guys, you want to see this old account I have? And I open the account, people aren't going to be like, why is your name Mochi? That is what she did. That is what we wanted. <laughs> it was laziness. It was laziness, laziness, and easy ease of use. I can absolutely respect that. I can absolutely respect that. That would probably be me, to be honest with you. That, would, that actually is me when it comes to a lot of things that I do. Um, it's like it makes it easier for me to respond. Salvi was something I created. It's, you know, I'm Salvadoran. My family, Salva, my father's Salvadoran. So Salvi, I just thought that would be short and that helped me out. Yeah, I can fully agree with this. I am behind this 100%. I, I endorse this. As I had reported on days ago, Doki Bird's Fortnite creator code was removed because of TOS violations, which one she didn't know, didn't even want to tell her. TOS violations is just kind of like a random word that you can say like YouTube and all these big ones say, just to not give you a reason to why it has been removed. And of course we want to know more. So Doki Bird finally came out and said, good news everyone, my Fortnite creator code is back. Doki Bird is back. Uh, it seems it was a mass false report. Thank you for everyone that helped out in getting it looked at. So it was a, fa a false flag. I thought it was something like that. If I remember correctly, my idea was in order for these things to randomly get removed like that, it's a mass false flag. It's a mass report. Someone, someone over there in Niji Sanji land, like some of the people that are their Niji Sanji defenders probably thought, hey, I know how to get back at the bird. I know how to ba get back at some at this person who is extremely popular and has done so well for themselves. Let's get their creator code removed because we can report it. You know, we can report her doing Horrible, th saying that she's doing horrible things in, you know, Fortnite and then we get her removed. Well, didn't really work that well out for you. You didn't think that through. And luckily, uh, Fortnite, uh, you know, Epic, Epic Games, the one who controls Fortnite, looked at it and was like, yeah, there's nothing wrong here. Let's just continue. We have VTuber Mita Osita from V&U announces hiatus with no return date, but coming back shortly. 
Thank you for all your support. This witch has a lots of work to do. It's been one year of pure fun. Met so many people, played games I would have never tried on my own. My dear customers, friends, and outside of VNU and VNU girlies, I appreciate y'all so much. Happy one year. See the see the things that they're putting here. Howdy y'all, I have many witch duties to attend to. I'll return shortly and August collabs are still on, just not on my channel. In the meantime, watch VNU girlies, silly shenanigans, and check out Oracle's first year merch. I'm a pianist. Oh my gosh. Look at the time. Gotta hop on my broom. Meet you later, dear customers. As a closer view, this looks like it's a stream hiatus. She looks like she's still going to be doing all of her contractual duties, just not streaming anymore. And of course, the source is here. She is a member of VNU, as was mentioned before. Uh, people are like, rest well, rest well. She's taking a break. A lot of people take breaks. Um, not everyone goes to the grind. Not everyone should go into the grind. I am deeply in the grind, but not everyone will be because breaks are absolutely necessary for your mental and emotional health. No one should ever be dogged for taking a break. I wish them the best in their break and the best when they come back so they can be come back refreshed and with all the energy that they had beforehand. We have notable artists and live 2D modeler Suika reaches 69k. Nice. On Twitter. Congrats. Uh, source Suika here. Of course, nice. <laughs> That's immediately this. Yippee. It's a funny number. Thank you. Um, congrats on the best number. Thank you. Congrats, Suika. Congrats on the funny number. Thank you, Zappin. Of course, people are going to, it's, it's going to be blown. The, the, the number's going to be blown out of the water. But it is nice to see a little funny number here. You're right. Need to private my account now. Enjoy every second of this. Also, stop posting at all so you can keep that, keep it that way. As long as you keep a picture, you can mo remember the moment of it. Like, I remember the moment that the, the 666 number popped up in how many people I got in a month. Uh, congrats to 69K. Thank you, dear. Yippee. That's huge. Congrats on getting funny number. Thank you. Uh, nice. Big congrats. Thank you, Bushi, my beloved. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Well deserved. Everyone is giving them the nice because that's what everyone wants. The 69K. And they have uh, still have 69K. So it's not gone yet, but it eventually will be. And those are going to be bittersweet moments, but let's enjoy it while we can. Welcome, everybody, to the next VTuber showcase, a place where I go and try to find uh, VTubers out there in the wild and give a little bit of back to the community who has given so much to me. And yes, the community has given a ton to me, so I want to give something back. This is Kiona, a bear VTuber. They stream and draw sometimes. They're part of Honey, Sh Honey Shine Rise, which is a VTuber group, it looks like. Uh, they are, I can mention right here, it's a it's a VTuber here that is doing fighting, fighting the Ender Dragon. They did that recently. Uh, they have a lot of things on their Twitch. Let's go see just a random clip of theirs. You're gonna talk with me in Croatian. And you're gonna talk with me on Croatian and play, and play League. League. I oh dare my. you. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that voice? Yeah, she has friends around. She has a lot of good friends around. Let's take a look at uh, what she has for her um, about section here. It says, call me Kiona, sat, silly little bear doing silly little things. Debut summer 2024. Business increase are there. And, you know, she has a lot of cute little parts. Holy crap, she has a lot of cute little parts here. Those, That's very good to have that set up already. Because that will definitely help get your self out there. And when people see it, they see something cute. And they're going to follow, of course. So I appreciate you being a part of this VTuber show showcase, uh, Kianafu. I hope everything goes well for you. I hope this helps you grow and I hope this helps you expand the reach of your content as you deserve. And every VTuber, even the ones I don't showcase here because I can't reach all of them. They all deserve this. If you want to, if you're a VTuber and you want to be a part of the showcase, I always have it in the description, the form, and I have it in the pinned comments. So you can take a look and um, see all the questionnaires and everything like that. So you can take a look. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.